video. In today's video, I got these pucks from my rosin press. All right, so since I have OCD, I can't just throw these away. So here's what I'm going to do. All right, so the plan is to take these, cut them apart. I don't even, yeah, I need to cut it apart. Now, I'm going to put the puck on the plate, and then I'm going to put this. The funny part is, I don't really drink much, and I really, except for on Me in Mexico, because they didn't really have good cider, so I was drinking mojitos. In Mexico, so like I, I don't really drink hard alcohol, but I, I really can't bring myself to throw all this stuff away. And this is about the best way to actually capture this. All right. So the concept on this is these bags are full of rosin and there's some little stuff in there right and all this has been processed at a maximum of 175 degrees where this other one I think is 200 so this has had lower processing and I didn't really want to bake these bags at the same in with those I just didn't want to do that so I'm doing this first, getting all the goods out of these bags, and then I might just actually do it all together too because it might be actually easier to strain it out. I don't know, but you get the gist of this situation. This goes in the oven. Okay, it's all in there. Well... I still have more that I didn't put in there, but all oh, this is in there. Probably be a few days before I get it out. So I think I ran into a little bit of a problem. So you squish the weed, right? And then you put it in alcohol, and then what does it do? It just absorbs it all. <laughs> so it's now absorbed it all. So it's actually gonna kind of be an effort to even get it out, but you can see what we're working with there. I mean, that is some, um, I mean, it's so tar, so dark, so dark. It might just be RSO like immediately. But I think what I need to do is I need to buy a cheesecloth now to actually get this stuff out because I think I gotta squeeze it to get it out because it just all reinflated again. Right? It just, it was all squished from the rosin process. And now it's, I haven't stirred it or anything. I just pushed it down. But now it's like the buds are actually expanding back to their original size because they're full of rum. So what I'm calling this is Bud Cardi. Got it in there in the original, and I'm just about ready to add. This will make a gallon and a half, or three of these bottles I've put in here so far, plus this over here. I just wanted to add some of the clear stuff to the top because it's already pretty dark so there's only so much I think that can actually penetrate but this is going to be some potent stuff. After letting it soak overnight I pulled it 
you can see it's up now. Maybe you can see it. Maybe not. Oh yeah, you can see. And <laughs> there's, where's the nozzle? There was like that much in there. And then I added another, pretty much a whole another bottle. I think so there should be like this much in there. <laughs> so that means there's this much soaked up in the, to the, I don't want to lift off the top because I think the top's helping hold it in place. Okay, second batch here. I just got done cooking that. And this time, I put all the bags in a jar. And I'll just leave this here for, I don't know, a couple days. And then I'll filter that out. All right, this has been sitting overnight. Now it's been draining for like an hour or something like that. Now... I'm going to try to get try to get it without letting it drop into the don't let it drop into the back end of the so I'm going to go like this okay did it So now it's draining again because I do not want to fight this like I fought the last one. I'm just going to let it kind of drain until it stops and then I'll mess with it again. And I'm just going to tuck this underneath. Hopefully that is going to hold it from falling in the back into the vat, maybe. Okay, all, everything's in there, everything, six and a half pounds minus the rosin, all filtered into four of these. How many do you think? I lost I don't know I think I lost half I think it what two gallons in one gallon out we'll see so now I have a coffee filter I'm gonna turn this on very slowly and I'm gonna let that fill It's actually not black. It's so red. It's black. That's, it's just red. Look at the, there is so much terpenes in there. I just tried like that much. Like tiny, tiny little bit. I had to let it sit overnight to drain. And that's what it's, filtering out some muddy looking stuff. There's a decent cake of whatever that is. It's a fair amount. I'm glad I decided to run the coffee filters. Boy, look at all the colors in the sun. Isn't that something? All right, it's been a couple months since uh, I made this, and it's because, you know, I've been testing it so first and foremost this was a bad idea i should have just bought everclear and made uh rick simmons rso or whatever that's called okay i should have done that because number one i don't like hard alcohol at all i hate it and now i'm stuck with it that was literally loss 
I that just didn't ever come back. This, I think I I got it. It was up to here maybe. This is how much I. Here's what I consume. If and I basically treat this stuff kind of like I treat CBD. So if I'm all beat up from a hard day at work, I'll take this little shot and some CBD. And that's it. And honestly, it's not even that powerful. I feel like I feel the alcohol more than I feel anything else. So which is kind of amazing. The, the uh, rosin process really does take out most of the THC and whatever terps that it doesn't take out is that so I call this stuff uh, Bud Cardi terp juice so and I would not recommend making it unless you're just some I mean you know just make RSO it's so much better and less expensive like that just disappeared. I have no idea where over half, because this only filled up to about here. I mean, this is just crazy. And this stuff's not cheap. So yeah, chalk this up to bad ideas. Just when you're doing this stuff, yeah. Unless you're, you know, I mean, maybe you're a B uh, Bacardi fan, right? You love Bacardi and you love the taste of weed. Well, hit me up. I'll hook you up with a jar of this stuff. But uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and peace.